Hi gals, welcome back to another episode of Zero Waste Closet. So this week we're going to tackle a topic that we did around this time last year and it was just so well received and it felt so relevant to you guys that I decided to make an updated version of it. And it is all about my favorite accessory for spring and summer. And to be frank with you, it's kind of my favorite accessory year round, but it really comes into play during the warmer weather. And that is the kimono. And I I bring this up for so many reasons and we're gonna look at some of those as I model some outfits for you and show you the versatility of this piece. But it is just a fabulous piece, one, because they are so beautiful. They add such an element of style when styled appropriately and they come in so many pretty colors. So just for looks and aesthetics, it's just a great piece to have in your closet. But I also love them because they travel really well well, they're so light. They're also generally a very affordable, budget-friendly piece. And really the biggest reason I love kimonos is that they help with so many different body issues and styling issues. And gosh, I mean, we all have our thing. You guys hear me talk all the time, for instance, about my really pale legs and how I sometimes get self-conscious if I'm wearing a shorter dress or shorts. And kimonos really help me with that type of things. So if you're somebody who wants to disguise her legs or maybe your hip area is a trouble spot or maybe the belly area or maybe you don't like wearing spaghetti straps like I've got on and you feel like you need to cover your shoulders or your arms, kimonos address all of those issues. So we're going to take a look at six different really easy ways to style a kimono and gals, please do not let your height or your shape be a deterrent because I have seen kimonos look fabulous on very petite women, very tall women, very curvy women, very, very slim women. So they are just truly versatile and we have many here in store at Chill Boutique. So if you need to add to your kimono collection, please know that we are here to help you with that. So let's take a look at six of my favorite ways to style a kimono. This is without a doubt one of my personal very favorite ways to style a kimono. I love shorts, but a lot of you know that I am very self-conscious about showing my legs. I feel like they're pale, but I don't want to go to the trouble of putting on self-tanner. And so my kimono is my perfect go-to plan to make shorts wearable for me. And this might really resonate with a lot of you too. And so all I do is I take a tank or a cute t-shirt, throw on a pair of shorts, throw a calf length kimono over the top, and I feel so pulled together and stylish. It really feels like a very intentional outfit and nobody needs to know that the main reason for it is I really want some extra coverage. This one is what I would consider probably the easiest go-to formula when it comes to a kimono, one that is wearable by pretty much any body type, and that is just to take a pair of jeans or even just a slim pant and throw a tank or a tee on and put your kimono on top. And now you've gone from really basic, maybe even just ultra casual to a little more elevated and just a little more stylish. And it's a great way to disguise the hips too if your jeans are super skinny. This one's a great example of how a kimono can add extreme elegance. So here I have on a pair of joggers, which might otherwise be considered very casual, maybe kind of sporty chic, but I pop the kimono on top and it's so elegant. And the other thing I love is see, I'm wearing spaghetti straps here. And a lot of you guys just don't feel comfortable with spaghetti straps. Maybe you don't want to show your arms, throw the kimono over the top and bam, your problem is instantly solved. I love this look here for both its elegance and frankly effectiveness. So, you know, it's a very elegant look, but nobody has to know that the real reason we're wearing the kimono is that we've got on all white underneath. White head to toe, skinny jeans might make anybody feel self-conscious. You throw the kimono on and you suddenly have coverage, you look elegant, and here I tie it at the waist. This is one of my favorite tricks with the kimono, especially if you're feeling like it's maybe just overall too much fabric. Maybe you're a petite gal and feel like it's hanging too low. Tie it in the front and you now have a waistline and it really just isn't so overwhelming. 
I just love throwing kimonos over one pieces, which is something you're going to see here in the next couple of looks. So here I have on a jumpsuit and it's got these thinner stra spaghetti type straps. So not everyone's going to be comfortable with that. I throw it over the top. It gives me coverage. Now in this case, I use another one of my favorite tricks and I take the front bits of it and I tie them in little knots. Now it gives it extra style, but just like the last look tying in front, the tying the two knots on the side takes away some of the bulk and volume from the kimono and this is especially great for gals who maybe are curvy and feeling like it's too much fabric or those who are maybe height challenged and feel like they need to lift it a little bit. Definitely one of my favorite go-to's. And last but not least, gals, here's another styling concept going over a one piece that I employ a lot over at the boutique. We've got a spaghetti strap dress, which again, maybe some of you want arm coverage. For some of you, the basic dress may just feel too plain and you want to add a little style or some of you are traveling, you want to stay a little warm or you feel like it's just a little more sophisticated to have some arm coverage. Throw a long duster style kimono on top, one that doesn't have too much volume but that's just kind of long and sleek and it's a really nice added element to any type of dress. So gals, I hope this filled you with some great ideas. And if you have a closet full of kimonos like I do, I hope this gave you some really good inspiration for some new ways to try out your kimono. And if you are lacking in this department, then like I said, we've got lots of wonderful options here at Chill Boutique. And it seems we have new ones coming in every day. So come visit us here in store or jump online to www.shopchillstyle.com. And if you guys have any ideas, any questions, thoughts you want to share, please drop them in the comment section below or feel free to send me an email to lisa at shopchillstyle.com. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps this channel. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to jump on and subscribe to Zero Waste Closet here. And that way you guys get notifications whenever new videos come out. All right, girls, I hope you have a wonderful week and I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next one.